Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. You know, you're going to talk to us a little bit about what are this year's top costumes, and I'm excited about that. And you're going to coin a new phrase. They told me it was Googleween. <laughs> <laughs> yes, happy Googleween. <laughs> now, nah, happy Halloween. Yeah, you guys have got some interesting questions going on the past 24 hours as it relates to costumes and Halloween in the Dallas area. The top three search trends around those two things are how to draw the leaves on Lilo's dress from Lilo and Stitch. And I gotta say, admittedly, I don't know how to draw those leaves either. Uh, how to dress like a nerd for Halloween, and how to alter a one-piece costume. So I guess we're gonna be seeing a lot of nerds out in Texas tonight. Okay, so are those the top costumes, or do you have the top costumes? For so the top costumes over the past 24 hours for you guys, headless costume, unicorn costume, zombie costume, spider costume, and a tutu skirt. I'm going for the tutu skirt. All I think right, that's then. wise. That's more my style, yeah. <laughs> and I got and I have one of those. I like that. That's good. So okay, so this is going to be one of our fun holidays that's coming up. This is one where people kind of let their hair down, I think. So are there any tricks or anything that people are planning on doing? <laughs> yeah, well, I think the best way to get a lot of information to you know tweak that or that Halloween aesthetic and make sure that your makeup looks perfect, or even figure out what exactly you want to be tonight. Uh, Google's a great resource for that, so YouTube is probably the, the best place to get that, uh, those tutorials as it relates to makeup or costumes or try to alter something, but if you're still trying to figure out what exactly you want to be, you can go to frightgeist.withgoogle.com and you can kind of tweak a couple levers to see you know, if you want to be very unique or very spooky and they can kind of spit out some suggestions for you, uh, or you can ask the Google Assistant, just say, hey Google, and say, what should I be for Halloween tonight? You should probably figure that out. Uh, and they can hack, uh, the assistant can help out with some suggestions there. So, yep, Google's got it all. All right, I'm going to have to throw that one at Alexa and see what she comes up with. Okay, let me ask you this. The last-minute tips for makeup, DIY costume, theme snacks? Yeah, YouTube, definitely the best for that. They've got everything from just kind of general makeup tutorials that anybody can do to, like, super intense movie style special effects makeup that kind of over my head as it relates to makeup but I watched the one about how uh, to make yourself look like the girl from the ring last night and it was terrifying so regardless of what your makeup ability is YouTube has some great tutorials there also got some really good stuff about how to make snacks or what to do with candy because everybody's trying to make uh, things that are a little bit more unique this year so YouTube is a it's a great visual platform for that and a great step-by-step -step situation to figure out what you need to do for tonight. Okay. Sorry about that. It's my Google Home Assistant. Can I ask my Google Home Assistant anything and everything? Yeah, you can. I mean, some of my favorite queries as it relates to Halloween are what does a ghost sound like? What does a werewolf sound like? Some facts about monsters. Uh, or you're still looking for a pumpkin patch? can ask for the directions to the nearest pumpkin patch, but yeah, the assistant's great. The spooky sounds as it relates to werewolves and ghosts, they're pretty scary, so, you know, listen with caution. I like to play uh, scary music when I open the door for little kids because they love that. Can I pull that up on my Google Home Assistant also? Yeah, absolutely. If you ask for those sounds, uh, you could do that and scare the kids as they come up. It's not too scary, so don't worry about that. Justin, you're a technology expert at Google, and I think you work in the San Francisco location, and you specialize in artificial intelligence. Where do you see Google taking us, we'll say, in the next five years? Ooh, man, that's a great question. I mean, if you look back uh, over the past five years, we made huge leaps and bounds as it, as it relates to the different products, um, having the assistant there. So I think in the next five years, whew, I don't know, some really good stuff just useful ways to help impact your life and make things easier and help get you prepared for Halloween and different holidays. 
what is the best thing about working at Google? Because you guys bring us great information. I've got a great relationship with you guys. I get to do the top five trends every Friday. That's one of the uh, highest rated parts of my show. That's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, the best part, you know, outside of learning about all the different cool capabilities that Google offers is, is the people. I think everybody that works there is phenomenal. We've got a lot of employees now. I love coming into work every day, hanging out with them, and they inspire me to be better. But yeah, Google's got some really, really fun stuff, and it's great to learn about that on a daily basis. As I wrap up, what's going to be the Google Doodle for Halloween? Give Ooh, me a peek in that. Great question. So if you go to the Google homepage, you can check out the Doodle. It's the first ever multiplayer interactive game, and it's called the Great Ghost. Go, sorry, Great Google Duel. Try saying that five times fast. But it's a four-on-four -four interactive game. You're a ghost. You're trying to catch flames and bring them back to your specific base, and you're playing everybody. I played yesterday for a while when I was at work. Sorry, don't tell the boss, but it looks like you're furiously typing away at emails. So if you want to play today and uh, look like you're doing stuff at work, head to the Google homepage, play the doodle. As I call you guys, you guys are the world's technology company. Google, I want to thank you so much, Justin Burr, for starting out Google Ween. I'm, that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> so today is Google Ween on the Valder BB Show. Thanks for coming on. I really appreciate this. Awesome. You're welcome. Happy Google Ween.